All right, howdy everyone. The time is 8.18 p.m. and it is November 15th. Welcome to another update from Great Lakes Weather. And this one, we are actually talking about a lot more snow than what I was originally projecting earlier this week. It's looking like there's gonna be quite the significant lake effect snow event coming into play later on this week. The models have recently um, come in under the idea that there is going to be some significant impactful snow, particularly on the Lake Michigan shoreline and areas in the Upper Peninsula. Um, it doesn't look like there's going to be too much in Indiana and Ohio as a result of this event. Right now, you've seen that widespread snow, but I think the place that could see the most significant lake effect snow will be centered in western Michigan. So we're going to get into that real quick and kind of touch on it um, in this short little video. But I want to remind you to subscribe and stay updated as there will be continuing updates and this snow event. And I will likely be driving around and checking out the snow um, on days where the potential seems pretty good for a lot of snow. And it looks like there's going to be some days over the next few days for quite a bit of snow. So let's get right to it with the um, particulars. So <clears throat> what you see here, this is the Weather Prediction Center's website for snow forecasting. What this shows is by Saturday, the 24-hour probability of snow accumulating greater than an inch. And you can see um, across much of the Michigan area, you have a lot of potential for some snow, um, especially in the Upper Peninsula near Marquette and um, places up there. And you also have a lot of lake effect snow potential in Grand Rapids, um, anywhere south of that, along the Lake Michigan shoreline, parts of Kalamazoo, Portage, maybe even parts of um, the area that includes St. Joe County. It looks like there's going to be quite a bit of impactful snow across these areas over the next several days. The National Weather Service has just updated it, and it's they're coming under the impression that this could occur. And the models are actually coming into agreement of a lot of snowfall for Michigan over the next few days. Now, this first snowfall event, not too much. We haven't barely seen an inch of snow across the area formed from this event. But the lake effect snow machine is going to kick into gear, and it's going to be a long-duration lake effect snow event. And heavy lake effect snow does appear to be possible across parts of the Great Lakes region, particularly in Michigan. So let's look at the models real quick. Um, hopefully it'll jump onto the next one. Um, if not, there we go. All right, jumped onto it. First of all, let's look at what's going on in the upper levels of the atmosphere because that's going to have some influence, okay? So during the day today, we have had pretty much an easterly wind, so winds coming off of Lake Huron over Michigan and Indiana and Ohio. So you really have that, um, not really that um, set up for lake effect snow along Lake Michigan. Rather, the heavier snow has been kind of focused around the Lake Huron region as a result. We're going to see those winds shift from east from from east to west to west to east. So that means the air is going to start to come from the west and shift towards the east, just like we would normally see in the temperate zone of, of well, where the area that we're in. So we have this particular setup still continues with the high pressure system that's settled over the Alaskan area of Canada, and that's allowing that Arctic air to kind of stay over our area as well. That air is going to deepen over the next couple of days, and it's going to kind of flow in here from west to east. That's going to drive lake effect snow because that cooler air in the upper levels is going to increase the temperature difference between the surface and the higher levels of the atmosphere, which is going to cause that lake effect snow to occur. And it looks like it's actually going to occur pretty heavily. So, and then again, you'll see it deepen uh, farther off to the west and bring even colder air. There's going to be an ejection of cooler air into parts of the Great Lakes region once again, bringing even colder air for the weekend and even more snow potential. So we're not going to get into how much snow that will that will occur with that, but it is going to still be very cold with this, and it looks like more lake effect snow is going to take place with that. But that's getting into long range. We don't have um, the nice what's available to accurately forecast that event. But we're getting close enough to this event to come up with an accurate projection of how much snow we could get across our area. So let's look at what a model says. This is the GFS model. Um, this is kind of forecasting more greater snow totals in Michigan. Um, we're going to look at the Lower Peninsula in particular. Um, so seeing the Lower Peninsula, you have um, this widespread snow that's occurring right now. Okay, it's it's around this time, 8 p.m. If I were to go a little bit forward, this is more accurate time. Snow is beginning to move out, kind of leave the area. Not as much snow is going to be falling, but you've had lake effect snow um, on the western side of Lake Michigan associated with those east winds that are that are currently occurring 
at the surface, and you're going to see a shift. And you can kind of see that shift taking place by um, Wednesday afternoon around 4 p.m. You could see heavy snow really starting to develop across Berrien County in particular. And you can see that it looks like this heavy the snow could get rather heavy with this. You can see the dark blues in that particular setup there. And you see that west eastern shift. Now you see that lake effect snow really starting to take take shape in western Michigan. Now the lake effect snow um, will not be widespread heavy in western Michigan until Thursday. Okay, Thursday looks like the prime time for when that lake effect snow machine really kicks into gear. And you can see it really just settles up in bands over much of western Michigan and even stretches as far out as Lansing. So a lot of snow appears to be coming into play with this particular setup and it will continue through about Saturday morning. So this is starting Thursday morning going into Saturday morning with these very, um, I guess you could say, these snow bands that would enable some heavier snow to occur with it. Okay, So this is Saturday morning. Saturday morning we're going to have temperatures as cold as um, 14 degrees in some areas. It's going to be very cold Saturday morning and you'll start to see the break, some breaks in the lake effect snow during that time. Then you see yet another band of snow move through that welcomes in cooler air, more lake effect snow. All right, Lake effect snow from this um, is uncertain how much we're going to get just yet, but the GFS does show a brief burst of lake effect snow behind that band, and then things may start to warm up just enough to where we'll start to see rain by around Thanksgiving. Okay, So Thanksgiving, it looks like that rain is going to start to filter into the area, and our, we will get a brief break from that heavy snow that could potentially be occurring. All right, um, let's look at the snow total potential for the for this general area. Um, you can see that according to the GFS model, this is more of the worst case scenario cut type of setup. In the Upper Peninsula, you have snowfall totals of um, around eight inches in many areas. Look at how much snow we could get in Western Michigan. Um, you could get over six inches in many areas across the Great Lakes region, especially between Grand Rapids and Kalamazoo, you could get snow totals of up to 11 inches of snow. And then you wear that band of snow focuses later tonight and then into tomorrow as well, you see up to over a foot, maybe about to a foot and a half in parts of Berrien and Cass County. So that's going to be a pretty decent snowfall for that general area and might be a focus for some snow chasing later on this week. So that's going to be something to check out later on as it continues to evolve but current snow totals do appear to reach the 10 inch mark and now that the ground temperatures are starting to cool down it'll likely be um, close to reaching those accumulation levels there as well now that we're seeing the ground temperatures cool so um, we're gonna actually progress it forward to include this is actually includes Sunday's event so if we back up and go to Saturday morning before that snow event you can see the snow totals go down a little bit. So those snow totals appear to reach um, still decent amounts, five inches of snow, six inches of snow, seven inches across parts of western Michigan. Still a widespread lake effect snow event that could bring quite a bit of snow over a two-day period. So six to seven inches of snow. So decent amounts of snow. And again, around that foot potential across parts of Berrien and Cass County. All right, let's go to the ECMWF high res this goes out until Saturday morning right now it actually pro projects a similar scenario so you have the GFS and ECMWF models agreeing on this particular event um, even areas into Western Michigan to see six to eight inches of snow according to the G the ECMWF model and then St. Joe County areas from three to five inches Our parts of Lansing getting six to seven inches as well Places such as Buffalo and New York are also going to feel the impacts of this snow event. They're going to get a very decent amount of snow, perhaps a historic amount of snow, according to what some of the models are saying. So that's going to be something that we'll, be, we'll have to pay attention to in Buffalo, New York. But over here, um, again, the snow potential is there, and it looks like it could get quite a bit over the next few days. So that's what the models are currently showing. The, H -triple, the NAM 3K model as far as we can go out Friday morning also shows where those snow bands could potentially focus up so let's actually go to a local graphic and get kind of a zoomed in idea where those bands focus is where we'll see the, the most significant amounts of snow so Kalamazoo three and a half inches um, you got those really high snow totals 
connected with that band that pop that kind of crops up in Cass and Berrien County. And then St. Joe County may have a nice strong band of six to eight inches of snow by Friday morning, Friday at 1 a.m. as well. And we'll see these begin to increase as more snow begins to develop on Friday and later on into the weekend as well. So we're going to have to wait to see how this evolves with the NAM 3K. Let's check the HRRR model, see what it has to say about snow totals. Again, we're not really getting as far out into the snow event. Um, Thursday at 1 p.m., the snow event's just getting started, really. But um, about 3 to 5 inches, once again, across St. Joe County, 3 to 5 inches in um, Kalamazoo County, areas along western Michigan, and then you got those snowfall totals up to nine inches in parts of Berrien and Cass County once again. So, needless to say, all the models are agreeing on snow greater than an inch for all of the areas. And I do think many areas will see a more focused band of heavier snow connected to it. So that's kind of what is on the table over the next few days. Just be aware that there will likely be travel impacts from these snow events that could be occurring later on this week. So prepare accordingly. Um, stock up your car with winter preparation materials in case something does happen. And it will start to get colder later on to this weekend before we start to see a warm-up around Thanksgiving. So be aware of that as well. All right, I'm going to stop the video there. Um, hopefully this video is helpful to you and getting some information out to you. And make sure to subscribe and stay updated. I will be live streaming some snow events as I drive through them. So I will be available to give updates on road conditions during those times. All right, that is all for now. Um, safe travels. Be careful as you go out and do your normal daily activities as these snow events occur.